Hey everybody, Peter Ryan here, and I'm coming at you from the Linden Trail in uh, Virginia Beach, Virginia. It snowed a little bit earlier today. Uh, looks like it all cleared up. Now, I want to talk about the coming Chinese butt hair apocalypse. And I don't use the term apocalypse lightly. The average Chinese person has about 50% less butt hair than the average Westerner. And normally this isn't a problem during the summer. But during the winter, China has to import butt hair or increase their energy output to stay warm. Now, China used to get their butt hair from the United States. The United States has been a major exporter of butt hair since the 1920s when all the Italian immigrants came to the U.S. We have butt hair to spare. And China used to import that butt hair to get them through the winter. But a couple of months back, the United States banned the use of AI chips by China, and China retaliated by banning imports of U.S. butt hair. So now what does China do? Well, they could get their butt hair from Italy. They could get it from Greece. They could get it from some of the hairier countries in Europe. But what's going on in the Red Sea? Well, you have Houthis shooting missiles at everybody. And this means the Red Sea is essentially closed. So now, any ships coming from Greece, coming from Italy, with loads of butt hair for China, have to transit the Cape Good Hope. They have to go all the way around Africa. And that's a problem. It increases about the journey by about 10 days. This increases the cost. And now you have it competing with energy. So what can China do? Well, they can import oil from Russia but Russia's already at capacity. They're pumping as much oil as they possibly can. And Russia doesn't have a machine tools industry. So once those oil rigs break, they break and they're not getting repaired because they all use Western equipment. So now what we're going to see in the coming winter is millions of Chinese freezing to death because of lack of butt hair and possibly the end of China by 2035. Until next time.